Well, hello, everybody out there in Facebook land and YouTube land. Hi. It's nice to see you again. Um, <laughs> my little cat is having um, issues. She has yet to be fixed. And so she's, uh, you know, calling. She has the call of the wild <laughs> right now. <laughs> and so she's rather annoying. Um, she's just, you know. The sounds that come out of this little tiny cat are absolutely amazing to me. I don't know how she can make those noises. I mean, it sounds like a herd of cats, honestly. Sometimes <laughs> she's terrible. And uh, it's awful to, uh, you know, try to sleep at night with the cat yowling. It's no good. So anyway, what I'm going to do is share my show. Because, you know, you have to share the show or nobody comes to watch the show. <laughs> well, and I don't expect people to remember that it is, you know, on Mondays or anything. So it's uh, just a gentle reminder. Hey, I'm out here and I would love to uh, have you hang, hang out with me. So <laughs> here's, uh, let's see. I want to go as, um, I want to do this, go to that and then, oh. That's right, I couldn't do that. Uh, let's see. If I do this and then I go here and just, so, there we go. There's me. All right, there's me. Hey, hey, Kelly. Oh, a new tattoo. Nice. Uh, is it someplace that we could see said tattoo? <laughs> I can pull you into the broadcast if you want and you can show off your tattoo. I'm totally down with it. <laughs> um Let's see. Well, depending on where it is, we have to keep this, you know, Facebook friendly. So I bet, I mean, I could send you a link. Well, we aren't, let's see, I'd have to do it. Uh, you could either send me your email and I can copy and post and paste it that way. Or if you're on Messenger, uh, I can, I think I can send it to you on Messenger, even if we're not friends on Facebook, which we should be. Why aren't we friends? Uh-oh. Hey, Mort. Oh, okay. You're off to work. Well, have a nice night and, uh, you know, be good. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, be careful out there. Um, let's see now. Uh, the show is coming up here. Oh, wait, no. Uh, did I pass it by? I don't know. Anyway, um... I'm just trying to find it so I can share it. And if you're out there and you would like to share my show, that would be great. And uh, I would love it. Let's see. That's uh, <laughs> fun with Strap-On. That was a fun show, you know, and it really, Strap-Ons are a lot of fun. And, uh, you know, if you, okay, I will do that. Okay, so let's do this. I'll just get into, oh, I'm on here. So why don't I do it like this? And I'll go to me. And I keep looking for stuff uh, at the top of the page and it's not there. And then I'm like, ah, where's all my stuff? <laughs> uh, let's see. Oh, hummingbird. Okay. Oh, it's still wrapped up. Okay, well. When your heat, when you get your healing on, uh, then come back and and we'll try and show it. <laughs> and in the meantime, I'll friend you on Facebook and stuff. So uh, let's see. I can't get to pages this way, um, and not videos. Uh, let's see. I need to. I'll try this, and then it came back. It should have. Oh, I suppose I have to go to video. Here, uh, let's do that live. <laughs> okay, great. And it's not showing the one that's on now. I know I'm live because I'm talking to people. Oh, seven. Okay. Uh, I have uh, three. <laughs> I have three. And I, I would totally go for four. I, I have no issue with that. And you just have to, uh, you know, make sure that you are comfortable with the artist that you have and, um, you know, that you kind of plan ahead for stuff and, and uh, just, you know, make sure everything is uh, clean and, and sterile when you go because it's uh, important not to 
get an infection because if you want your tattoo to look nice, you have to, you know, do uh, all the stuff, you know, that they recommend so it will stay looking nice. So thinking about it, yeah, you know, uh, you should uh, definitely give it some good thought. I'm live. Thanks, Mort. <laughs> That's good to know. So I don't know what happened to the show. Uh, it's not, uh, oh, you know what? It's not on the Madam page tonight. It is on, uh, I'm with things tonight. So thank you things. And, uh, so we're going to go with the things network here. And, uh, then I'm, I'm on here somewhere. So that'll be, or I should be at least anyway. So I'll find me. <laughs> I'll go to there page. There we go. All right. And there I am in the little pop-up right. window. So uh -oh. find me. <laughs> there we go. And, uh, okay, great. So it's somebody that you know and trust. That's good. And yeah, you, you really have to uh, feel some confidence in your <laughs> tattoo artist if you want to, you know, feel like you're going to get what you wanted, you know, because, and it never is exactly the way you envision it, but, you know, it should be pretty close to, you know, what it was that you wanted. Yes, I know. The cat is just so annoying. And my other cat is neutered, so he just looks at her like, what's wrong with you? <laughs> Why are you making all these horrible noises? So um, I'm just going to post that, and then uh, I think I can... Um, copy the link and then I can go back and hit up messenger, my messenger people and uh, send them the link. It's uh, not, um, <laughs> not the fastest way. Oh, oh, birds. I had doves for a while. Um, and Herman had been, uh, she was a magic bird. She was in my grandfather's um, magic act and she would fly out and come come back and land on his head. It was awesome. Uh, she was a great bird. And uh, she uh, got eaten by the dog. Well, killed by the dog. And then I built her a, a, fu a funeral pyre. And I had a huge, you know, pyre for the bird. Because she was like a friend. She was a really cool bird. And uh, yeah, Herman was an awesome bird. So, all right. So I'm going to send uh, a couple of links here uh, to people who might actually come and watch the show. I don't know. Um, you, the older you get, the more you find that um, people have just gone to bed <laughs> at this hour, especially in the winter time. You know, people tend to just uh, eh, it's time for bed at like you know nine o'clock, maybe uh, maybe eight. <laughs> depending on what's on TV, you know, so, but anyway, oh, and then, oh, nope, I gotta uh, send one to uh, my biggest fan here, <laughs> well, I don't know if he really is, but I, I like to think so, <laughs> okay, and, oh, uh, I definitely got to uh, send one here, oh, no, wait, go like that, ah, oh, geez, Louise, all this technology, it's good and it's bad. You know, um, I think it's good. People stay in touch. They, you know, have a way to get a hold of you, like multiple ways, which I don't know is always good. But, you know, and so then, you know, it's convenient and uh, it keeps people in touch. And, uh, oh, I can't schedule up at night. Yeah, I'm up, you know, all hours with the cat and just everything. I have <clears throat> restless leg syndrome and it's not fun. And I don't know if any of you have uh, experienced that, but it's not fun. And sometimes you just can't sleep. You try, you rest if you can, but yeah, it's, it's terrible. Um, hang on just a sec. I had to grab my water, and I have my water in a, uh, oh, hello, Joanne, um, Canada Dry. Um, I don't like to drink a lot of soda pop or anything like that, so I just put the put my water in the bottle, and then I think I 
I'm having something special. <laughs> so, oh, thank you for the hair. Yeah, um, I uh, I just combed it back and put some barrettes in it for once so that it wasn't hanging around, <laughs> hanging down. So, and then, yeah. So anyway, tonight, um, we were gonna, I was gonna talk about crystals and stuff, but I didn't get them all together. So um, quartz is the big one. You know, uh, I have a quartz here. Um, here's quartz with a little malachite in it. Um, I've had that for years and years, but it's a good all around stone. If you have, uh, you know, and like other stones, like um, that you want to bolster the uh, the vibration of or whatever the goodness of it <laughs> and then this one is it's got little like gemstones in it and my daughter's baby teeth and I kind of wear it like you know a good luck charm or something like that you know and then uh, I made these uh, and you can't it, can't see them very well in there right now, but it's got little gemstones in it. And I thought these were, these were kind of cool. They're like little mesmerizers, you know? <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, amethyst. Uh, I have an amethyst bracelet. And then I was going to talk about charms too, because uh, then there's uh, the, the little, e the evil eye. <laughs> well, it kind of keeps, it wards off evil. So, you know, if there was any evil in the, that you were feeling, you know, the evil eye will ward it off, you know, like the hand of Fatima or something like that kind of, kind of thing. So let's see. Uh, let's see, haven't uh, born with tubes on the left side of my kidney that's not supposed to be there. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, I, uh, I think you mentioned something about having a kidney issue. Um, but yeah, that's uh, my, yeah. Oh, there we go. Okay. Uh, yes. My sympathy or kind, you know, condolence to you because it's tough when you have uh, something like that or any kind of like thing that you are dealing with every day, you know, like MS or even like Alzheimer's. Alzheimer's is a terrible disease. My um, dad had it and he um, died at 65. And, you know, they don't say it was from Alzheimer's, but it, it is, you know, your brain just gets to a point where it can't support your functions anymore uh, because it's so full of these neurofibrillary tangles that you just, it doesn't function like proper uh, nerve tissue should. And so then you end up, you know, just not being able to support life anymore. And it's a sad life before that because it attacks a lot of places in the brain. So your cognitive function's gone and, you know, you're just sitting there waiting, you know, so anyways, it's a terrible disease and I support anyone who's going through any of that. If you need help or advice, um, or if you just need someone to listen, uh, I'm totally there because, uh, I went through it myself and it's, it's never good. So, uh, on, oh, medication. Yeah. Um, yeah. Medications. That's a whole nother thing. The pharmacological, uh, <laughs> you know, I think God gave us everything that we needed to be able to sustain ourselves on this planet. And I think that we have lost touch with the earth and the things that could benefit us that are just growing out of the earth. You know, our food has so little food value to it anymore because of the use of pesticides and, and because we've, we've now genetically altered, um, you know, our food supply. And so it's just, it's no good. And I think uh, getting back to, you know, earth as close as possible is what's best for us as a, a you know, a species as human beings. And uh, Jessica says, hi. And I say, hi, Jessica. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for joining us. Um, so anyway, uh, Let's see. Uh, crystals. We talked a little bit about crystals. I have uh, quite a wide variety, but yeah, amethyst is for uh, protection. You know, if you need uh, um, some protection from something, just, you know, any more of the elements that you meet going out your door. <laughs> 
Oh, that's so great, Joanne, you, that you garden, because that's the way to go. I'm telling you what, grow your own stuff if you can. And I was just thinking about how expensive eggs are now. And it's like, oh, my gosh, I wish I had my chickens again. Um, I am uh, used to have a, a little, you know, group of a flock of chickens. Um, but, yeah, that was that was in my country living days. Um, and February birthday. All right. Coming up real soon, February. And then I'll do my, uh, my Pisces. We'll talk about Pisces. Um, we weren't quite there yet. So I figured, uh, I'll leave off on that until next week. So I figure next week's show is going to be all about Pisces. So, um, and we'll, uh, delve into the, um, the psyche and the makeup of <laughs> the Pisces. So, um, there was a, a Pisces, I called him my glove, because uh, we fit together like a hand in a glove. <laughs> and so then I just called him my glove, because, you know, he was sort of an in and out of your life sort of fellow. So, but uh, last time he was in, he didn't look very well. And so I worried about him that he might not, you know, be so great. But hopefully everything's good for the glove out there. <laughs> my glove. So, uh, yeah, February birthdays. Um, but anyways, before that, um, it's still January. <laughs> and uh, we're still uh, Capricorn, I believe. And um, I made some uh, different things, like um, with uh, Zodiac symbols on them. I'm probably going to, I probably will list or, you know, put, put one in my store. So if you're interested, uh, if you go to... Uh, Madam Mayhem uh, page, or um, I suppose I could put them in the Skeleton Key uh, store as well. Oh, but is it is it disturbing to you to have this activity? Because um, that's the thing. If it's not really, if it's kind of one of those things where it's mildly amusing and it's not really disturbing to you uh, or it doesn't feel like it's malevolent. I say live and let live. <laughs> Just leave them, leave them be, and they'll they'll uh, be they'll be good, you know. Yeah. See, I, that's I would say. Yeah. Just uh, you know, I think it's just a matter of learn to live with them and um, and enjoy their company. Um, it's probably somebody who's in your family. I mean, then that's the thing too about a lot of these ghosts and, and, you know, spirits that hang around uh, your house or something. If they're not from the people who own the house prior, uh, then it's probably your own family <laughs> and you want them to stick around, I think, because they're just, they're not there to be malevolent. They're just there to help you. And, uh, and I like that. Uh, my Facebook page is um, it's, there's Madam Mayhem, M-A-D-A-M, M A Y H E M, and uh, oh yeah, it's uh, it was your cousin, I think, didn't you say, Kelly? Uh, and I have a, a page on Facebook, uh, and then the um, it's the same as my YouTube, M A D A M. I left off the E because I thought it was unique. <laughs> there we go. So uh, yeah. Yeah, the, your cousin. Yeah, that's that's cool though. Alrighty, so uh, anybody care to have a reading? Um, I was gonna say, Jessica, since you've uh, been you haven't been here, this is your first time checking in with us. Would you care to have a reading? It's there's just a little three card reading, and I'm gonna uh, I'm I'm flying without a net tonight. I'm hoping to, I'm not. I don't want to look at the book anymore. So we'll see. Okay. All righty. And Kelly, okay. We'll catch you as well. So, um, yeah, uh, I, I've really, um, I think it's, it's been good for me learning to read the cards and stuff and, um, you know, getting more in touch with my, uh, spiritual self and, um, and, you know, sharing what I can glean or what I know with others. So it's been great. I have super enjoyed it. So, okay. Oh, Joanne and Kelly. Okay. Awesome. Okay. Well, we're going to wait for, uh, 
for her to check in for just a sec. Uh, let's see, Jessica. And if, if we don't hear from Jessica, um, we'll just go, we'll start with Kelly and then go to Joanne. Oh, okay. And, and then Abdul has a question. So we're going to do just like a yes, no for him for a question. So, so then Kelly, um, Kelly, um, I pulled the Empress for you. Let's see what you got here. Um, the Empress, that would say to me, that might be you, actually. Um, and it's uh, someone who's uh, confident and she is, uh, it's like her feminine, you know, she's she's uh, more of the femininity, like, you know, your feminine side. Um, and so then, uh, let's see. Yes, that's for my niece. It's for my niece. Uh, it's my grandma made it. So, yeah, <laughs> it's got letters in it, too. Um, so then, let's see, the Empress. I don't know. I'm drawing a blank now. <laughs> oh, it happens, everybody. Come on. All right, let me get my light out because I, I love this light. <laughs> That's so fun. All right. So uh, the Empress is um, motherly things, a nurturing, loving problem solver, uh, success in business or other positive, productive op uh, opportunities. And she suggests moving forward to fulfill your full potential. And the answer you seek is yes. So um, if you had a question in mind, uh, the answer would be yes. So. Alrighty, so let's shuffle them up a bit more, and then um, I'm going to uh, pick for um, for Joanne, and then oh gosh, yeah, because in England it's it's six hours after, so there's nine, uh, ten, eleven, twelve, one, two, three. Oh gosh, it's the middle of the night there. <laughs> All right, so Joanne. Okay. Joanne, have you been taking on a lot of things lately um, that you have, uh, that you feel like you're overburdened, like you have just, you know, people have been asking way too much of you or you put too much on yourself to where now you feel a bit overwhelmed? Um, and, uh, and then, oh, yes, I will, Kelly. Um, <laughs> so, because uh, that's what this card suggests, is that you're overwhelmed a bit and um, that you've taken on a, a bit too much and that it's okay to ask for help, um, that if, you know, you feel that way, you just, you know, reach out to the people around you, either your coworkers or, or whoever, you know, wherever the stress may lie and, uh, and say, you know, I need a little help with this project. If you guys wouldn't mind, I'm feeling a bit overwhelmed at this moment. So it's uh, better to do that than to, you know, have a lot more stress um, otherwise. And then, so let's see what this uh, has to say about it. Uh, it's, oh, shoot. It's the, um, I want to say it's the Ten of Wands, isn't it? Uh, yep, it sure is. I'm getting to where I know my cards pretty good now. <laughs> so Ten of Wands. Uh, let's see. This is the... You got to get to Wands. That's Swords and uh, Cups is here. And then should be right here. Um, and Ten. Nope, that's back here. Okay. The answer is no. <laughs> with an overall negative tone, the answer is no. Uh, it's associated with feeling an uh, intense pressure, being overburdened. Um, possible things suggest uh, feeling trapped or oppressed or having no control over your circumstance. So, um, so the overall impression is negative, but yeah. Um, so thank you very much. But uh, um, yeah, so if there was you know, just need to uh, reach out to people and uh, see about getting some help so you don't feel so overwhelmed. So, um, all right, burn, burn us. And then uh, more, let me get you a card, Mort. And then, um, yes, Kelly, I'm going to 
um, for any on Facebook. And hey, Anna, how you doing? <laughs> How's your shows going? You're a, uh, uh, you, you got a lot of followers now. That's totally awesome. <laughs> That's great. So, okay. So card for, uh, um, let's see, Mort. We got Mort here. So card for Mort is, ooh, the devil, which isn't, you know, it's not horrible. Hang on. <laughs> The devil can mean though that a lot of things that there's something in your life that's um, you know that's not serving you well, let's say. So, and you you'll have to figure out what that thing is that's not serving you well, and and you know, give it the give it the shove, <laughs> the old heave ho. So uh, let's see what we got to say about this one here. Just want to make sure I got the, the meaning right because I'm, I'm going without a net tonight. <laughs> well, I guess I do have a net, don't I? Uh, so it's uh, if something's had you angry or um, fear, temptation, you know, all the things that uh, you need to like probably push out of your life and that uh, maybe you feel trapped or in an unhealthy relationship an addiction or a lie. Without a doubt, this card is telling you no. <laughs> so yeah, um, I would say uh, just um, get those things out of your life. If somebody's not treating you right or they're, you know, um, not giving you what you need in your life, then, um, you know, cut them free. If it's your job that's, you know, uh, that's bad for you, um, then find another because life is really what you make of it. And if it's not going well, then just uh, spend a little time asking yourself, what is it I can do to make it better? Because um, really, it's all about what's in you, you know? All right. So then uh, I did kind of skip over uh, somebody back here. It was, um, oh, Abdul, are you still here? And you wanted to know if your visa would be approved. So I'm going to go with that. And I'm going to pick you a card. And so... Uh, Abdul, this is for you. Will your visa get approved? And we're going to just kind of go with one and yes, no. And then that would be the, uh, let's see, the nine of wands. And I think that's not, I think it's not, it's not, it's non-definitive. <laughs> so I think it's like a maybe um, in the uh, card world. So let's see here. Let me get out my. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm still amused by that. Um, <laughs> nine of wands. Uh, let's see. Oh, we pass that. Ah, uh, okay. So it's, I said it's a maybe. So I was right on that. Uh, shows determination and courage under fire. However, it indicates a need for being cautious and defensive in struggles that are yet to come. Nothing that suggests a more positive or negative outcome in these matters. And thus the answer is, Maybe. <laughs> so there you go, sir. And um, then we have uh, April. Um, okay. And so then I will uh, draw a card for a April right now. And so let's give him a shuffle. So I'll think about in. And then Carlos. Um, hello, Carlos. And yes, you can. <laughs> okay, there you go. Great. So we got you. Oh, April. Uh, April. Okay. <laughs> it's pretty. It's a pretty name either way. <laughs> okay. And let's see. So we have the High Priestess for you. The High Priestess. And so. Um, Carlos, what, uh, did you want to ask a question? Um, because you certainly can. Um, let's see. And this is a, it, it's ask madam after all. <laughs> so just ask away. If you have burning questions on really any topic, if I don't know, I'll say, I don't know. 
uh, or I may look it up for you if I can, you know, help you aid you in your Google search or something. <laughs> I certainly would. Uh, let's see. So then um, we're looking at the high priestess, which is a um, uh, spiritually intuitive woman full of mystery, wisdom and understanding. A journey of self-discovery goes hand in hand with the presence of this card, and she stands for things yet to be discovered in your life. So the answer to your question is unclear. So um, if you were thinking of a question, uh, it's not certain. And, you know, the future is never certain. It's not written in stone. Even if you get a reading that tells you, you know, what in general terms, what your future will be, you can always change it, change the course of your life, because that's what it means is, is should you continue on your current course this is what can happen and so the best way to ensure that you don't get a future that you don't want to have is to you know change course <laughs> change your life because you know and it really is about what uh what we're doing life doesn't happen to us we happen to it and um, we make it happen, you know, by the choices that we make and the, the things that we that we choose to do and we make our own lives. And um, so don't don't feel like a victim ever because um, you can change your situation. And if you're allowing someone else to victimize you, um, don't allow it anymore. Say, no, nope, done getting out of this because it's not it's not worth your energy and your light and your hope and everything to um you know allow someone else to feed their their inner sadist in that fashion or whatever it is they're doing so i mean i'm a sadist but come on at least it's consensual <laughs> when i'm sadistic it's consensual so that's all i'm gonna say but uh yeah <laughs> um, it's always important. And, uh, oh, shoot. Well, I just popped out the judgment card. Anybody in a trial or uh, having some legal issues? Because <laughs> uh, that's always what I think about with that one. Um, it could just be, you know, like, you know, judging yourself um, too harshly or something, too. So... Um, but yeah, uh, oh, and Carlos, are you still here? <laughs> you wanted to ask something. Um, and that's when I said, well, you know, anybody can ask anything. I, you know, I'll try to answer it. Um, I do have quite an extensive knowledge base, um, because of the weird eclectic background that I have, um, yeah, it's I, I have a variety of interests, and so I have a, a variety of skills. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I get my rope skills from horses. I, you know, I was a horse person for a lot, a lot of years. Um, and horses are great animals. They can be your friend, your best friend. As a matter of fact, I have had best friends that were horses. <laughs> <laughs> yeah they were they were great animals and um i think animals are very they're you know people say well you can't be reincarnated as an animal but i think that there have been um and i think the familiars you know are familiar spirits and i think they don't always have to be um necessarily in um an animal i think they can you know, be in other things, but that's just my belief. Um, I don't know that any of us know exactly how all these things work, like spirits and stuff, you know, is there a rule book for them? Because if there is, I'd like to read it. <laughs> and uh, so I'm prepared for, you know, what lies ahead, um, you know, or, or even if there's a, a, law, a rule book for laws of engagement of spirits. I mean, I'm always respectful, you know. Uh, let's see. Uh, okay, so Bernice is asking if things are going to get better in her life. She's um, having some surgery coming up, and uh, she just... Uh, wants to make sure everything's going to be good for 
her and uh, and also the people that she's, uh, you know, not going to be able to care for while, while she's, you know, having her surgery and stuff. So she just wants to know, uh, will everything, we'll, we'll say, okay, we'll draw this card and I'm going to say, uh, is your how's your surgery gonna go? Will they find and will they have complications? Is it gonna go smoothly? Are you gonna be good? So, and yes, I would say yes, you are very good. So, um, that's a great card to pull for that. So, um, I was kind of mildly worried in the back of my mind what if I pull something terrible, but no, <laughs> I did it. So, that's good. Um, let's see. Uh, you never want to like give things like that any kind of uh, real thought, you know, because uh, manifestation is is a real thing. Uh, let's see. It's let's see four, three, two. Okay, so it's back here. One more page, and I need my book light. So <laughs> once again, ready? Here we go. I love this stupid thing. All right, so then um, she's a lively, passionate, and independent woman. She uh, suggests a person who's career-oriented and successful, honest, thoughtful, and confident. The presence of this card shows someone seeking positive self-development, and the answer is yes. So, um, so I think everything will be good, and I think that sounds like you probably, you know, you're looking for positive self-development, and, uh, you know, things uh you kind of seems like you care about the people around you and stuff you know you're you're kind of looking out for people and uh you're it seems you're honest and thoughtful and confident so yeah just go into your surgery very confident that everything's going to be good and uh and i know it'll it'll work out that way for you so yeah i think everything's going to be just fine <laughs> uh there you go you're welcome <laughs> All right, so we'll put so so she gets the shout out here. We'll put her on online on the the screen. So, all right, I'm gonna shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Oh, I got the Queen of Wands, by the way. If you were um, curious as to what card I got uh, that time, it was the Queen of Wands. So, and uh, kind of working on getting you know to where I don't need any kind of uh, tech support for <laughs> for doing readings but you know it's all good um i just want to be accurate with it and uh not you know tell somebody the world's gonna end <laughs> although i know the world is gonna end i mean at some point uh what are you gonna do i don't know uh where you guys are at with religion or anything like that. And, you know, far be it for me to tell anybody, uh, you know, what they should believe in. But uh, I, I've been looking back at Revelations and uh, I think it's a read. It's a, probably a really good read for everyone. <laughs> um, I uh, don't know how prophetic it is, but, uh, you know, Things are going to hell in a handbasket, let's face it, <laughs> here in, uh, you know, good old USA. And uh, it's not really much better worldwide. I listen to uh, the news, you know, from all over uh, the globe. Um, thank you, Bernice. Thanks very much. Um, and, oh, if anyone wants to donate, <laughs> I do uh, take donations. And uh, there's my, my cash app. <laughs> um but you know not necessary just uh it's just there and um so um go back to here uh there we go and so anyway um yeah everything globally is not great and um in uh i want to say it's um in israel they were uh like hoarding food the government was hoarding food for their own people and um you know, it's, it's coming up that way. A lot of places, it's not good. And, um, I think before it gets better, it's going to get worse. And I really think that, uh, we should all prepare ourselves in some fashion, uh, for what's, 
possibly to come. And, um, you know, I'm not one of these crazy preppers, but I'd like to be somewhat prepared for stuff, you know? And so I'm, I just, you never know what'll happen in the future. And that's why you got to live each moment <laughs> living in the moment. If that's one thing I could share with everyone today, live in the moment. Um, don't worry about things that could potentially happen. Um, don't worry about things that like, you know, the end of the world or like even, uh, you know, what you're going to wear for, you know, prom, uh, cause that's months from now, you know, or whatever, or, uh, just all the things that we worry and worry and worry about. And, there may have been no reason to worry whatsoever. And you missed out on a great moment that was right here because you were so concerned about what had not yet even happened, you know, that you kind of just blew off the moment. And so um, don't do that to yourselves. I have done it and it's not, it's not good. <laughs> you know, it's like uh, there were times when it's like, it could have been a great moment, but I was so worried about the future that I didn't stop to enjoy it, you know? And um, and I do more, uh, I'd have to look it up though. I don't have um, any of the info on that. I, I have it, it's in my phone. <laughs> I'll have to see if I can uh, send you a, um, you know, the, the info for that. Um, but yes, I do. And I actually got into it the other day. I was like, wow, okay. Cause I hadn't used it for so long. <laughs> it was like, wow, okay, great. This is good. <laughs> so yeah. Um, but anyway, uh, live in the moment. That's one of the best things I can tell everybody today. Cause, um, once it's gone, it's gone. Enjoy it. You know, like I enjoy being here with you guys and I try not to, you know, worry about what I have to do later or how do you like these lights? <laughs> I got disco lights here in the, in the front room at Mayhem Manor. I have disco lights. It kind of, uh, wards off, um, you know, bad feelings, good lighting wards off bad feelings <laughs> in the, uh, in the winter time. Cause I, I'm one of these people that gets like kind of depressed in the sun, in the winter. Um, cause I don't go outside that much, you know, I probably need some vitamin D <laughs> and, uh, um, I, I love to be outside. And so to be cooped up all winter kind of gives me the winter blues. And, um, so anyway, uh, I try to, uh, do things indoors to, you know, get things feeling a little bit cheer, more cheery. And so, uh, I do all these crazy lights <laughs> and I have my, my fireplace and stuff. So that's nice. Uh, it kind of keeps me from being blue over the winter. So um, whatever you guys do to feel better, if you can get outside, go get some fresh air and some sunshine. If you're in a place where that's possible. Um, and uh, if not a uh, tanning bed or a, uh, just a full spectrum light, um, like a plant light is good for people too. And you can definitely, uh, you know, up your little bit more of your daylight hours. And I do have a, a plant light on the plants. So that's, uh, helps them and it helps me too. And so, yeah, we do that. <laughs> we get that extra light. And so, um, yeah, I just, uh, try and stay hydrated because in winter time, you know, everybody's dry. we're all dry, dry as toast. And, um, so you got to stay hydrated, you know, moisturize, especially if you're in a cold climate, be sure and mo moisturize your skin. Cause it's just, it, it'll get really nasty and, and crack and stuff. So, and you never want that. <laughs> and so, um, so just, uh, you know, be kind to yourself and uh, have a spa day and moisturize and um, just, uh, you know, be kind to yourself and do that inner work and live in the moment and get out there and be successful. So Heather, Heather finally showed. Heather, would you like a card before I go? I was going to uh, head out, but if you would like a card, I'm your girl. <laughs> Oh, and love the new hairdo, by the way. That's awesome. So um, I'm digging it. 
she she got like a kind of a really cool looking edgy kind of haircut i like it it's really neat oh all right april's still here too awesome you guys are awesome for coming and hanging out and watching my show i love that and uh uh i love all of you guys you're just you're you're totally great and and i feel really happy that you're here with me and so for you my dear i have the uh i have the i think it's the three three of it is the three of wands I've been choosing a lot of wands this evening i wonder if that has anything to do with anything so i'll have to read up a bit on that if there's a if you know wands is the suit of something so let's see three the three is gonna be on this page <laughs> it is oh wait no it goes the other way <laughs> sorry oh uh makes you feel hot and sexy and you are hot and sexy sister <laughs> and then uh i was uh the, and i drew the card for you this is uh my book like oh. <laughs> okay so nope that's uh, the wrong one and that's let's go back one more page and it is fresh start and, uh, achievement and positive partnerships. It could mean some sort of business expansion or be the confirmation that you are on the right path towards success. It has an overall positive tone and provides you with the answer of yes. If there was a question in your mind that you were thinking, the answer would be yes. So anyway, uh, that's pretty good. And uh, it sounds like things are turning around for you, which is great. I'm glad to see that. Um, Cause, uh, you seem very, very happy and that's good. And, uh, yeah, I just want everybody, uh, in my sphere of people to be happy because I think overall I'm a people pleaser <laughs> and, uh, it just makes me happy to see other people happy, you know? Um, and so if I can help them out along the way, I'm, I'm there. <laughs> makes me feel good to make others feel good so so anyway that was our little card uh reading for monday night <laughs> and uh i do so love mondays and i i love that you guys come and and join me for a little bit of chat and uh you know just some some relaxed chat <laughs> and uh um and then read i will um I, i'll tell you what i'll get on with you uh after the um after the the cast and i will uh give you what you need so <laughs> so for tonight i just like to thank everyone for coming and uh and uh, i think um the things network i want to thank you guys again for having me uh on your weeknights and um it's just uh I, i'm so pleased to be with you so thank you and uh thank you to skeleton key uh the skeleton key witches are always awesome and uh and then my youtube go subscribe it's uh madam no e m-a-d-a-m m-a-y-h-e-m so madam mayhem and uh that's me <laughs> so i'll see you next monday for another uh episode of Ask Madam, or Wednesday nights at 10 p.m. And I'll be on YouTube and uh, my uh, also the Skeleton Key and my uh, you, my Facebook. So uh, you guys have a great night and blessed be.